Hey y'all, this is Misty with the Misty Seacow Shop. Today I am showing you that you absolutely can sublimate on Oracle 651. Um, I'm using the clear vinyl today, but look. First you'll need your to set your heat press, actually. You want to set your heat press at 320 degrees and you're going to press it for 60 seconds. But while that is heating up, you want to print out your sublimation transfers and get your clear vinyl ready. Um, I like to cut the excess white off of mine, and I will show you after I press it why I do this. I like to cut, and then I just leave them oh, let's cut that one, in the strips like this to press. Cut off the excess white. Okay, um, my heat press has actually heated up. I am going to go press this real quick. My heat press is loud, otherwise I would take you with me. But you just set them like this. And you want to pre-press the bottle first. You see how this one is it's up a little here? You want to pre-press it so it's flat. But you just lay it like this and then cover it and press it for 60 seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have pressed it for 60 seconds, but look. Occasionally, you get to where the color did not transfer all the way. So, I am off to press for another 60 seconds. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I have pressed it. I actually had to press this one three times to get the color right, but you just peel. It is a little hard to peel up like it sticks to it. Okay, now this right here is why I cut as close to the white as you can. There are white spots. This is not from not enough pressure, you know, the ink not transferring. This is white spots left from the paper. Now to get that off, I use a baby wipe and this handy dandy little tool and I just and scrape it see it comes off so now you have the nice perfect decal um some of it does not always come off here I can show you with this one this one um the kind did not press right so I can show you with this one Okay, I will cut it out and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. But it doesn't show if you use a white base. Well, you would cut as close to the decal as you can. Oh, this one actually doesn't have any. But yeah. Let me see if I can find one that does have what I'm talking about. I'm gonna clean another one. Okay. I'll do with this one. Let's see a bunch of this. Oh, sorry, I hit my sand. Now, if I missed a spot on these, this is all you have to do is take a baby wipe to them and scratch them off with your fingernail. It, the ink is permanent. The ink is on there for good. It is not coming off. Um, yeah, okay, this one has a little bit. Let me see if I can find a dark baby. All right, let me get some vinyl. I'll use a black piece of vinyl. And then you can kind of see the spots. You kind of can't see the words because it's black. But you see the spots. Those spots are not going to show if you use a white base. Let me show you. Let me get a white base. 
see? You can't see them. But those spots are exactly why these are going to be cheaper than water slides. I do not want... I do not like the spots. But in every video I've watched to do the clear bottle decals, every decal has the spots. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a second and I'm going to take you to my printer. I actually have some of these on the printer and one on the wall. And I'll show you how those look. Give me just a second. Okay, here is a dog mom. And then we have a blessed. Dream big, pray even bigger. And then a forget the glass slippers. Those are all on the printer. And then over on the wall, we have the be the sunshine. So yeah, if y'all are interested in these, head over to my website. They're on my website, mistysdecalshop.com. Uh, hold on <laughs> misty's decal shop.com um these are the clear decal the or clear decals these are not the clear water slides or the clear vinyl stickers these are the clear vinyl decals so thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all next time